Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm good, you know. Last year, what a year. Like no other, really. Like no other. How, how important for you was it to keep racing? I think it was incredibly important. If you look at how the year went, um, if you saw the, the kind of the noise we were able to make, grab the attention of people. I think also for people who are, all of us were isolated. I think it was really healthy for people to see sports. Um, and I, so I think we had a responsibility and I'm grateful that we were able to, to continue. Is rewriting F1 history important to you? I guess you're talking rewriting history in, in terms of records. That would be but it. I'm more about rewriting or writing the future in terms of diversity inclusion mm -hmm. within our sport because it's, it has always been white dominated and male dominated. And I think that's it's time for a change. How are you and your team preparing for this new, new racing season? There's a huge amount going on. So the, the normal building of a, of a new car, well, the transformation of a 2020 car into this year, it's the first year that we've not had uh, a brand new car because of some rule changes. Last year obviously was, was really about um, holding people accountable, holding ourselves accountable, and this year's about action. So there's a lot of, there's a foundation that we're, we're, we're putting together to, to really support diversity and inclusion. Every, everyone is, is watching and you've reached what seems to be the, the pinnacle, right? So yeah. what, what's next? One thing that last year, particularly, probably the most important year, I think, in my life, because it was like the climax of all these years of belief that my dad and, my, and myself uh, and I had in, in what we were doing. And then on top of that, the whole thing with George, the whole movement that started, the finally having an opportunity to, to speak, really speak out on something, because I had been trying to speak out about the fact that our, my team and the sport was not diverse, but it was just, just glanced at, wasn't taken serious. And last year gave us the, the, a real microphone to speak about it. And I really felt that I've, that I've really found my part of my purpose. Yep. Well, well, what we saw last year was, uh, you know, um, from, from my point of view and a lot of people that are allies in this anti-racist movement, saw you standing up for what you believe in and that was really, really important. I think last year was, one of the most proudest things for me was, for example, taking the knee. It was really to, I really wanted the, particularly the black community to know, hey, I hear you mm -hmm. and I'm with you all the way. And, um, you know, also there's, I've suffered in silence growing up and mm -hmm. quiet and all those emotions that came up last year. And now I've got, I finally got the platform and the power to really create change. Yep. And that for me is, so much means so much more than all these championships, these wins. Wow! And um, wow, I got goosebumps. That, I'm so proud of you for you even being able to sit here and say that. Thank you. Um, thank you, Lewis. Thank you. Um, thank as you. always, I enjoy just shooting the breeze with you, mate. Thank you. Thank you.